So you guys, I got this in the mail today. I think I heard of it before. It just looked interesting. It was 4K. Zai, the Slumber Party Massacre and Slumber Party Massacre 2. The first one wasn't enough. Let's see. First one is, um, it is 1982 it came out. 77 minutes, not very long. 1987, the other one came out 76 minutes. Put on your PJs and say your prayers. It's time for one nightmare of an all-nighter with a double dose of slash tastic call classics to Slumber Party Massacre and the Slumber Party Massacre 2. And the Slumber Party Massacre, Trish, invites your high school basketball team over for a night they'll never forget or survive when an unexpected guest crashes the party, an escaped psychopath with a portable power drill, and in the freaky follow-up Slumber Party Massacre 2, Courtney is tormented by dreams of the infamous driller killer returning to wreak, wreak havoc, only to find that bad dreams really do come true when the murderous monster is reincarnated as an evil rocker. So, that's that. <laughs> then I got this. Seeds from Johnny Select Seeds. This is a um, Adam Butterfly stripped uh, Arminian. I guess that's the QIS Orange Tokyo B-E-K-A-N-A -A, Alaska Mix Naturism, I don't know, and then um, got this one, this is um, QIS Pink, C, the G, O, N, P, H, R, E, N, A, Maryland Lavender, Certified Organic, uh, especially Cucumber, Sue Yu Long, uh, Mexican Mint Marigold, and QIS Formula Mix. Now these all say, um, Let's see. Grow at 65 degrees Fahrenheit nights, 7 degrees in day. Well, that's going to be kind of hard unless I plant them earlier because in the summer might get hotter. Well, that's life cycle zones 8 to 11. Well, that's not good for 11. I thought it was in 7, I think. Oh, well, see if it grows. This is, um, didn't say a zone. This one says. I don't know, so that one, but I looked at it, shipped to me. Why would it ship to me then if it didn't? Annual, annual. This one, um, seeds are bigger than this one. You can see. See how big those seeds are? See how thick that is? Thick seeds for the um, uh, Alaska mix. Thanks for called me. I don't know, it's going to be so I've been having a lot of fun playing um, Gran Turismo. Because I know now you just got to keep doing. I mean, you don't have to. I keep doing the, um, you can do one race for each thing, and I just keep doing them over and over again. There's different races you can do one, though. A couple you can do. I just keep doing it to make money. It's fun, you know? But it's so much easier racing on those than it is trying to get one of the, um, licenses to race. So I don't know why, but I'm, I'm getting, I guess that's what you do. You practice and get better, so hopefully I'll get better at it. And, um, I'm loving it, though. A lot of fun. And I have a table tray. Is it in here? No, it's in there. I've set my um, pedals kind of like this now, so they're kind of on an angle. They're much easier to um, control, you know. And I wrote to such a voice, which is a place. I told them I wanted to do it for years. And they can help you set up a studio, but I have a Mac studio and a mic and a MacBook and Logic Pro and other programs. So if they can do something where they train you on, um, <clears throat> give some things on reading stuff, you know, scripts and stuff like that, and books, and I can send it to them. Or they send, they do, and then they can make you a, um, a demo, I think, put it out, that'd be cool, because I don't know where to send stuff like that, you know? I just saw it when I try, you know? And, um, yeah, so, not much to talk about today, I guess, but, uh, a few things, and I'm gonna go finish exercise, and I have 25 minutes, I'm watching a show about the WWF talking about Sergeant Slaughter. He's one of the people I remember seeing when I was a kid, and although I did not watch that show when I was a kid, he's one of the people I remember seeing on commercials or something like that, so... I liked that back when The Rock was in it. I mean, I know it's not real, but they still do a lot of work. You think about all this stuff those guys go through, man. It's a lot of stuff. <coughs> and, um... See, so yeah, um... Hey, I gotta make a million, see if I win. <laughs> and, um... Okay. Thank you guys for watching these, and, uh... Peace, you guys. I cook dinner tomorrow. I'm making a um, some kind of chicken. I can't remember. Let me see. Here's my recipes for Thursday folder.
I mean my file. Chicken tangin with olives, T-H-E-I-N-E, garlic butter thighs, lemon, pan, balsamic chicken, veggies. Uh, let's see. A spicy chicken roast, chicken curry, stuffed chicken with cream sauce. Let me see, I'm going to make, um, oh, no, chicken thighs and green beans. I'll put that on here, too. And uh, if you hear someone talk to my mom, talking to my grandmother, she talks to her every day, man. And, um, <coughs> yeah, okay. I'll just put all my um, recipes. I like to make lists of recipes. And, um, you know, it's fun. I Me, mean, I guess you can get, I used to, I used to tell my mom to get recipe books and all, but why? There's really no need, because you can get everything off the internet. I know it's good to buy books, but have no space. Okay, and, uh, yeah, again, thank you guys for watching this. Hope you guys had a good day, man. If you haven't, good day, it's just around the corner, you know, just think about times that were good, and I was thinking about this, too. <coughs> we were driving past the graveyard. I mean, we don't just drive past graveyards, but there was a graveyard. And Mom said, look at all the um, stones, and I thought, how useless does it seem? All the things we have, all this stuff, how useless is it when you look at a gravestone, you know? Because the end of time, when your life is over, that's all it's going to be, you know? Your body's going to be in the ground, or in an urn, or wherever the hell you want to go. And you're going to have a stone. And you look at the name on a stone, you have no way of knowing anything about the person that you see. You just see them as a name. That's all we are eventually, you know? If people don't know us, all we are is a name. And even people we do know, how long does it take for them to become a name, rather than that feeling we have for them, you know? I mean, do some people ever... I mean, do we remember people like we did forever the way we did? Or eventually, it, does that all just go away? I guess that's an interesting question, you know? Just, it's funny how some people try so hard to fit in and to make a, themselves look good or have a bunch of friends, a big Facebook following. For what? Who cares, you know? All the status quo the people trying to make themselves be so popular and people look up to him for, for what when you die do you think any of that's going to matter to you i mean you some guys are big at the office number one guy a lot of girlfriends or wives or women or money who cares it's completely meaningless you know I, that's how i started feeling a few months ago maybe a couple of years ago it's just <clears throat> like i said <clears throat> you guys watch my videos i think i read something or i saw something on the internet of someone talking i read something on the internet and it's just it like it, it switched the switch in my mind, you know. Now I have a lot of stuff. Don't get me wrong, my movies and all I have, but I don't know, man. It's just like um, it just all seems so meaningless, you know. All this stuff I had, I used to go buy stuff so much. I don't really have much. I have a few things pre-ordered, you know, a movie or a record. But otherwise, who cares? It just it just all seems so useless, you know. All these material things and uh. I don't know, man. Maybe people go through that when they get to a certain age. Like I said, I turned 39 February 13th, so... I don't know, man. I guess it's just... And I feel so relaxed, you know? All this stuff has happened to me, and I'm not mad at anyone about anything they did to me, man. I just forgive everyone, and I don't think about it. So why would I? You know, I just... How did I come, after all this stuff that happened to me, being in complete peace with my life? I don't know, but I'm thankful, you know? I'm so happy about it, man. How cool would it be if I got to be a voice actor, you know? That's what I'd love to do. <clears throat> no, you start out in car I mean, like commercials and stuff. Or, but my dream would be um, cartoons and stuff. You know, if I could sign a contract to work for Disney for the rest of my life, even on TV shows on Disney, I don't care about A-list movies. You know, just being on like a network like that, I think that'd be so cool. You know, <clears throat> even if I thought it'd be interesting to have a character that never spoke, just facial expressions, that'd be interesting. You know, you'd feel all the pain and all the happiness. Just looking at the eyes, man. And, um, yeah. I guess it's kind of like Bambi. That's how Bambi was, wasn't it? And, um, okay. I'm just babbling on. Sorry, you guys. I just, um, Life of um, P for Mac, I saw that. It looks interesting. I just saw that because I see it. I made a file for it here, so I remember the name. But I, um, it's 50 bucks. I don't really feel like getting it right now, you know? But, um, Okay, uh -huh. peace you guys.